Do you know this guy? No? How about this guy? That's right. Both are Dr. Michael Burry. Dr. Burry is, however, portrayed in the second picture by Christian Bale. And the movie is The Big Short. If you haven't seen it, you should. It's really good. Why is it good? Well, because the movie does a great job of explaining how Dr. Burry was able to make nearly one billion dollars betting against the housing market in 2008. But it left many viewers, including myself, very puzzled about a completely different issue. The last line of the movie says, Michael Burry is focusing all of his trading on one commodity, water. This is a perplexing statement because unlike other commodities like oil, cotton or silver, there is no market to trade water. So how can someone invest in water? Should you just buy a bucket and, and put it on your roof to collect rain and then try to sell it? Well, no. You have three different options if you want to invest in water. First, purchase water rights. Second, invest in water-rich farmland. And third, invest in water utilities, infrastructure and equipment. Obviously, uh, sitting at your desk and watching YouTube trading videos, you and I should focus on the last point. And we shall. Not only will I show you what stocks to consider buying, we will also look at their charts for long-term timing. But before we do that, let's continue. Water is one of the basic necessities of human life. Life as we know it cannot exist without water. For the simple reason, water may be the most valuable commodity on Earth. We often spat out the fact that 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water, something we probably all learned in kindergarten. Well, yes, while this is true, fresh water, the kind we actually care about, is only less than 4%. On top of that, only about 0.767% of that fresh water is easily accessible through groundwater and lakes. Most of the other 99% is trapped in glaciers and um, snowfields. Well, so, in the end, the most easily accessible water from freshwater lakes is only 0.007% of planet's water. You can see in the chart here. Are we supposed to fuel and feed the world's 7 billion people with that? That's not much water, but, but, but... 0.007% of the world's total, total water is still a lot of fresh water. That's about 91,000 cubic kilometers or 21,830 cubic miles. It's about 20 times as big as the Grand Canyon or 20 times as big as Halley's Comet. Both are about 4,000 cubic meters. Oh, I'm sorry, kilometers. So what's the problem here? Well. According to the United Nations, water use has grown at over twice the rate of the world's population increase in the last century. Today we use about 30% of the world's total accessible renewable supply of water. And by 2025, an estimate of 1.8 billion people will live in an area plagued by water scarcity with uh, two-thirds of the world's population living in water-stressed regions. And, of course, as always, making matters worse, the water infrastructure's most developed country is aging. And we haven't taken any major steps to upgrade it yet. Yeah, as always. The American Society of Civil Engineers is slightly optimistic, and they say the 2021 report card for American infrastructure reveals we've made some incremental progress towards restoring a nation's infrastructure. For the first time in 20 years, our infrastructure is out of the D range. Hmm, that sounds fine and dandy, but infrastructure as a whole is one thing. What about water? Well, 
the American Society of Civil Engineers continue. Meanwhile, many of our legacy transportation and water resource system are still in the D range. Damn. So a lot more left to go. And more importantly, a lot more yet to be invested. Now, that is a honeypot we want to stick our fingers in. So let's look at some charts. One way to benefit from these coming improvements is to invest in the stocks of individual water utility companies. The water utility space is highly fragmented and further privatization could lead to a roll-up play by larger companies, as well as free up access to the capital markets for infrastructure development. The implementation of this strategy is already partially underway. And thus we have American Water Works Company. Now, a full disclaimer is in order. I own this stock since a few years back. Anyway, the American Water Works Company is the largest publicly traded water and waste service provider in the US. This is what we have to work with. Doesn't look like much. Well, as always, we have to zoom out before we can make any decisions because this slightly downward sideways action is actually not telling us a lot. I mean, remember, we are working with water, so this is a long term. So what do we do? We zoom out and we have a look. We can probably zoom out even more. There we go. So what is happening? Well, we have this very nice uptrend and all of a sudden something happens and now we are in a downtrend. As you probably are noticing, 2022, the beginning of 2022 is when something is happening. A radical change. Well, that is pretty much when the war started. So this is the, the entire entire world basically came to a stop and uh, and is now reversing. So this is this is uh, of course um, completely normal even for American Waterworks uh, to follow the exact same trend. Um, the entire world is going down the drains because of the Russians uh, Russia's invasion and the energy sector crisis. Um, so we have this reversal in the beginning of 2022. Um, and just before that, we had a nice clean, well, pretty much clean. You have that little incident there. Um, so this is, this is looking good. This is, um, on a long time frame, this is looking actually very good because what this gives us is a position, a uh, opportunity more to, to take a good position. So let's, uh, zoom out even more. And this is all the data I have on this stock on the trading view. And let me just zoom in. This is the monthly chart. And as you can see, we have this beautiful, beautiful uh, line going slightly upwards, not too much. And now we have a retracement as it is also, as you can see, the retracement is smack in the middle of the cloud. So what we are looking for is this cloud will hopefully stop this um, reversal and we get some sideways action. And afterwards, we're going to continue on our journey because remember, America needs water. America needs infrastructure. All right, let's move on. Other plays include investments in companies that actually build water infrastructure and equipment, uh, such as Mueller Water Products. Um, this is one of the largest manufacturers and distributors of fire hydrants, uh, pipe fittings and uh, valves in the north of America. And then we have the Xylem, a uh, manufacturer of pumps, valves, and analytic equipment used to move, test, and treat water in more than 150 countries. So let's have a look at those charts as well. Here we have uh, Mueller, and um, 
this this is a weekly chart so um, just as i mentioned before we want to look at a broader bigger picture um Mueller doesn't look just as as, as sexy um, as American Waterworks. It's uh, going sideways. And then we have this big uh, expansive move and a retracement move. Um, however, there is a slight problem with that retracement move. And if we measure it, there. As you can see, we have fallen beyond our we've fallen beyond our target for a normal retracement. So this is a bigger retracement than it should be. And also you have this massive cloud of resistance that is building. So this actually tells me that hmm, maybe maybe this is not the correct moment to to enter this position. You can you can obviously follow this and and see how um what's hap what's going to happen to it but but before before you make a trade perhaps you should establish some sort of um better or stronger move upwards uh, because for me this this retracement move is just it's just too much uh, to be comfortable and also we have the cloud against us so uh, i'm just going to place this in a in a watch bucket uh, to see to see what's going to happen to to it in the near future and then we had the next one the silo This is also a weekly chart, and this does look better. Um, let's let's measure. This is actually a wonderful moment to to compare those two together. Um, as you can see, the same thing is happening here. We had this expansive move, and then we had a massive retracement move that went below our limit, which means that no, we are not touching it. But what you can see here, and this is this is exactly what we want to see on on the Mueller happening before we take a trade, is that all of a sudden you get a reversal, and then you have uh, higher lows and higher highs, and we are breaking through this resistance cloud, um, and actually, as you can see, it, it is starting to narrow down. Um, and hopefully reversing into um, supportive cloud. Let me just look at this tiny waves. And this little wave, as you can see, is right where it's supposed to be. It reversed exactly where it's supposed to be. So we want this to continue slightly higher than perhaps a retracement. Um, and let's just say let's play with the thought that you actually get a retracement as it is now that would mean let me just zoom in a little bit more that would mean that we would look for an entrance somewhere in the middle of this cloud um, and this is where we expect the next reversal to continue. So Xylem is, is um, again, this is weekly chart. So this is a very slow chart. So Xylem is looking very interesting, more interesting than the Mueller does. Now, th there is a ton of other individual water companies to research, and uh, I will leave that to you. This should be more than enough as a start. Um, so what if you're lazy? You come to me and you say, no, you know what? No, no, I don't want to do the research. I don't want to look at individual companies. I just I want it all and I want it now and I want to invest in water and I don't want to do any of the work. Well. Asked and answered. You have index funds, and uh, the best one is probably the Invesco S&P Global Water Index ETF. Um, if if you want exposure to water-related companies, um, this is the one. Um, it follows the S&P Global Water Index, um, and the S&P Global Water Index um, is 
uh, comprised of approximately 50 water uh, stocks selected based on the relative importance of the global water industry um, within the company's business model. So the, the index is designed to have a balanced representation from different segments of uh, the water industry, consisting of the, um, well, just these two, these two clusters and you have uh, in these you have 25 water utilities and infrastructure companies um, it's like water supply water utilities wastewater treatment uh, sewer pipeline construction and much much more and also you have 25 water equipment and material companies um, and these includes like water treatment chemicals uh, pumps uh, pumping equipment uh, motors plumbing equipment and and such and so on but um, just as we did with the, the other ones let's let's look at the charts let's look at the Invesco chart And here you have it. Um, just like with the other ones, you, what we see is is a problem in the sector since um, since the beginning beginning of the war. Uh, so you have this this movement through the cloud, and this is um, this is a weekly chart as well because we are doing long term. So we are falling below the cloud, and now we have a resistance cloud. Um, but again, all of this started just right after the war, which means, well, what does that mean? If we zoom out, actually, let me just show you the monthly chart. I believe it's going to be much better to look at it. I mean, look, this, this is just a beautiful chart. Uh, and we have this retracement because of the war down to the cloud. And this tells me one thing and one thing only. I mean water is not going anywhere this is a uh, if you want slow steady gains this is a beautiful beautiful index uh, etf to invest in and because of this of the of this sell out or sell down or whatever you want to call it because of the war also today you have a wonderful opportunity to to get a much better position i mean from the high we are down 30 percent so you're getting in 30 percent cheaper if if you buy it now um so there you have it that's water for you guys um oh and by the way if you want to look at exactly the same um type of video you should look at this next uh, uranium video cheers